Muskie basketball time Tuesday night here. Davenport North comes to Muscatine High School to take on the Muskies. And Joel Crosshauer and myself, Brian Musell, are here bringing you all the action tonight on the High V Market Grill Express pregame show. North comes into this one 10 and 4 on the season, 7 and 2 in the MAC, and sitting at fourth place all by themselves in the MAC. The Muskies 3 and 12 overall, 3 and 8 in the MAC. They've won two of their last three, dropping one to Assumption 63-43 last Friday night. Joel, should be a good game here. North defeated the Muskies earlier this season at Davenport North 69-40, but that game was close at halftime, and North really turned the table the second half. The Muskies have done a much better job in the last three, four games of playing strong second halves. So if they can hang in here tonight in the first half, I look for this to be a good four-quarter game. Yeah, we talked about earlier in the year about building a culture of finishing, not just trying to win the game, but finish every possession, finish every half, finish every quarter. And then, like you said, Brian, Muscatine doing a much better job. They're scoring more points than they were earlier in the year. Uh, but North, we know what they like to do. They're going to try to get up and down the floor. And uh, Muscatine's got – they've got to play – they have to win both ends of the floor. They can't just look to be scoring a lot of points tonight. Jaden Houston leads North in scoring on the season, just under 18 a game. Quincy Wiseman just under 14. The Muskies, of course, led in scoring by Noah Yan at 14 and a half and Jack, Josh Diekman at 12. And Joel, a couple of team stats that really stand out. Uh, one field goal percentage. North on the year is shooting 48 and a half percent as a team. That's outstanding. Tells me two things. One of two things or both. One is they run their half-court offense really well and get the shot they're looking for, or they create a lot of pressure and get a lot of easy layups off uh, turnovers, and I think that's more of the case based on their stats. Yeah, they're getting high-percentage shots. They're, they're figuring out a way to get the ball in the paint, get to the rim, and a lot of that, I think, comes off of transition. Um, Coach Polite, we've seen that before. He, he likes to run a pressure up tempo game, and he has the athletes to do it, so they're executing that. Yeah, North on the year, 118 steals as a team. That's a big number. That's a big number. And the Muskies, 242 turnovers. So the key tonight is can the Muskies take care of the basketball? Well, and I think we've seen uh, Braden Hufford take some real strides at the point guard position as this year has gone on. And it'll be interesting to see how he he's had a, an issue that was getting into some foul trouble earlier in the season. So he, if he can stay out of foul trouble and the, the ball handlers, I'd like to see Noah Yan maybe handle the ball a little bit more tonight as well. You're going to have to have multiple guys bring it up. You have to pass through the press a lot of times. You know, you find those soft spots, work the angles, move the ball side to side to get them moving their feet on the defense to, to break that pressure. Musky side. Uh in contrast, shooting 39% of the year as a team. But the thing that really hurts them, they take a lot of threes and only 30% for the season from the three-point stripe. And when you're not knocking those down, that affects you 56% from the stripe, the free throw line for the Muskies. North, 66%. So they do cash in on their free throws, and they do shoot a lot of free throws. Yeah, Muscatine's kind of a feast or famine offensively. If they're hitting their three-point shots, they can play with anybody. If those aren't falling, it can be a long night. Because, uh, But I would like to see, as the season has progressed, Josh Diekman be a little bit more aggressive inside. I'd like to see him go up, maybe strongly try to dunk on a few guys. Go up there and finish strong because he's, he's tall. He's a good, great athlete, not just a good athlete, a great athlete down low. And uh, he's really developed his outside game. And he's trying to really develop his strength inside, and it's something that we see he's capable of it. I think it sometimes is a confidence thing of how how can he mentally take over the paint. Folks, we got a great one on tap. If you're in the neighborhood, stop by. We'd love to see you out here at Muscatine High School. If not, pull up a chair and watch this one tonight on Discover Muscatine. Joel and I are going to take a 60-second timeout, and we'll be back with the starting lineups on the Hy-Vee Market Grill Express pregame show. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie. Sports Network. All right, guys, we got some great news. 
There's a rumor out there. There's a huge sales call coming in today. Good thing Jimmy's not here to steal my thunder again. A big sale? I wonder who it is. Huh. Did I pack a tuna sandwich this morning? Why wasn't I in the last commercial? All right. Everyone on the same page? You guys are not going to believe this. Oh, 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 I got it. 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 Oh. Hello, this is Jim. Can I help you? Yep, yep. Thank you for the business. The mission of our company is to serve our clients with the most efficient and courteous service available. People in our community, when they ask, who are we going to get for pest control, they just call Bosch. Remember, insects are pests. Call the best. Bosch Pest Control. We are back at Muscatine High School. Brian Musell, Joe Krasauer. Thank you to Hy-Vee Market Girl Express, as always, for sponsoring our pregame show. Some of our other fine broadcast sponsors, Avenue Subs. XL Auto Glass, Nutrition Outlet, Boonies on the Avenue, Bash and Bounce. And we'll mention several of our other sponsors as this one goes on. Hy-Vee, of course, a great team player for Muskie Sports all year and a great uh, team player at the cake auction. And, and not just a team player here for our broadcast, but also right now you can go out to Hy-Vee and they're selling reusable grocery bags. Uh, I think they're a dollar a piece, but a portion of the proceeds from all of those bags sold go right back to the Muscatine Community YMCA right now. So another opportunity for you to support one of our great sponsors, Hy-Vee Market Grill and Hy-Vee, uh, but also uh, you know help the environment and help the Y. So yeah, great opportunity here in town. And it would be nice if those you could either get them autographed by like Tony Tone or Phil Schleesman or some of the Hy-Vee local stars out there. So. Oh, Matt Schweitzer, the, the Matt store Schweitzer. director out there. He's, he's, a, he's another great person to have in the community. I know Matt wants to get on the chain gang, I think, for the high school football games. Fantastic. Got to have Matt on to interview him at halftime one of these games. <laughs> Folks, starting lineup for tonight's contest for Davenport North. Sam Wellman will get the start at one guard, a 5'11 senior. Makai Jacobs, a 5'10 junior, and Jaden Houston, a 6'2 junior, round out the backcourt. Up front will be Quincy Wiseman, a 6'2 junior, and Kate Gwynn, a 6'5 sophomore. So a senior, three juniors, and a sophomore dot the starting lineup for North. They're coached by Mark Polite, assisted by Justin Harper, Marquez Davis, Michael Crawford, Scott Davis, and Tamrick Atwood. For the Muskies, in the backcourt, Briggs Miller, a six-foot senior, will be joined by Braden Hufford, a 6'1 sophomore. Up front, it'll be Waker Clare, a 6'4 junior, Jake Thomas, a 6'5 senior, and Josh Diekman, a 6'7 junior. So the Muskies, two seniors, two juniors, and a sophomore. Head coach, John Windham, and the assistant is Joel Witchers. It's good to see uh, number 15, Jamal Litt, out here tonight, the Davenport North uh, shooting guard. He was in a car accident a few weeks ago, fractured four vertebrae in his neck, and he, he does have a neck immobilized around, but he's up walking around. He's having some fun in pregame. I know that that's, uh, that's a coach's and family and teacher's worst nightmare to get that call that one of your students and student athletes has been in an accident, and it's great to see that young man uh, seem to be recovering well from uh, such a serious injury. No doubt about it, Joel. Folks, listen in on our national anthem.
edition of the National Anthem here at Muscatine High School. North shows up in the road blues. The white numbers and gold trim. The Muskies, of course, in the home whites. Purple numbers, Vegas gold trim. And the great Ryan Timmerman from the Muscatine Journal sitting courtside next to us again tonight. Joel, Just we're a, ready. Just another uh, shout out there to Holly Hillbrand who did a nice job with the National Anthem. That's always great for me to see these youngsters these high school students uh it's it's a nerve-wracking thing i bet you she's been thinking about that all day and she did an outstanding job houston and deekman and joel you would know but you're never nervous anymore as uh, much as not you've anymore done it. but when i was a freshman or sophomore <laughs> in high school houston has it swings it over to jacobs just underway at muscatine high school houston now to wellman wellman back over to jacobs jacobs to gwen gwen on the left wing back to Houston, Houston stutter step in the lane to the rim. Shot rejected by Diekman, but a foul. And let's see if that's on, and it is on Josh, his first. So 30 seconds in, Diekman with one. He must have got him with the body. because From my angle, it looked like he elevated and he got, he got to the ball. Houston leads north and scoring 17.7 a game, just 58% from the free throw line. His free throw is good. That tip-off was sponsored by Channel Seed, a great sponsor for Muskie basketball and football. Shot no good. Diekman clears. It's almost that time of year again already to be thinking about getting your seeds in the ground. Yes, it is. Hufford in the front court for Miller. Briggs swings it back, and it's stolen away by Jacobs. Makai Jacobs in the front court over to Houston. Down the lane, runner no, and a foul on Thomas. That'll be the first on Jake and the second on the Muskies right out of the gate. And we're seeing what we thought we were going to see, which is Steele's turning into offensive opportunities, and they just attack the rim, and they force you to foul, and you can see why this team gets to the free throw line as much as North does. Get it into Gwynn. He throws it out. Didn't look to score. Yeah, there. I was Wildman watching has it. Gwynn warm up. He's a sneaky athletic guy. 6'5 sophomore. There's a pass to Wiseman at the elbow. He's guarded by Briggs Miller. Now they swing it back to Houston. Houston, good looking athlete. There's a backdoor pass to Jacobs, saves it. Back to Houston. Houston almost travels, but gets to Wellman. Wellman back to Houston and now to Jacobs. North spreading the floor nice. There's almost a steal by Claire, and it's going to be a foul over, over and back. back, actually. Great call by the official there. And he gave, the, he gave a good explanation yep. to the North coaching staff. And so it's going to be musky ball. Really good dig out there by Waker Clare. Waker Clare forced that turnover. Waker on the inbounds. One zip north, 6.35 to play first quarter. Hufford, right wing. Out high for Diekman. Josh reversed it. Clare for three left wing. Short. Rebound Diekman to the rim. No, gets his own rebound back up and in. Josh Diekman stayed with it. The Muskies go up 2-1. Strong offensive rebounding there from Diekman. Wellman in the front court for Jacobs. Bounces it to Houston. Houston step back three left wing short. Rebound cleared by Hufford, and here come the Muskies. Good box out by Thomas there. He couldn't quite get the rebound, but he cleared it out for Hufford to get it. Diekman, corner three, short rebound, Claire. Musky size having an impact early. There's Hufford for three. Short rebound. Josh Diekman with great hustle. And now the Muskies with another possession. That's Thomas on a block. They double him. Thomas kicks it out to Claire. Now to Hufford. Hufford drives elbow jumper blocked by Gwynn. Cleared by Waker. Claire lays it up. No, missed the uh -huh. bunny. Muskies have four offensive rebounds early. Wellman in the front court. Down, picked up by Hufford. Nice feed into Houston. Lays it up and in. It's 3-2 North. And a smart decision by Diekman not to pick up a foul there. He realized he was beat. There's a steal by Wellman. Lays it up and in. Hufford lost his footing, and Wellman capitalized 5-2. I guess I wasn't. I didn't see him in warm-ups. Is, is Jan? And, and I noticed he didn't start tonight. Is he... On the floor and warm ups, I can't even really see him on the bench. Did not get the word there. Good point, Joel. Nobody informed us. And there's another turnover for the Muskies. And yeah, the Muskies leading the score, Noah. But you know, there's been a couple of games this year. Noah hasn't started. I guess I. 
Looked down the way there. And I was so focused on my notes in the pregame, I think I just made an assumption. So we'll we'll be eye keeping our eye on that situation. There's a bounce past Quinn. Houston hesitation dribble, kicks it over Wellman in the corner. He swings it out front for Alec Brown, who's checked in. Brown, a 5'10", junior to the rim, shot up no and a foul. Brown really instigated the contact there. It's going to go on Waker Clare. His first of the three musky bigs all with one. Brown will go to the line, free throw, misses the first. 76% of the year. 5-2 North, 4.29 to play first quarter. Second free throw, no, misses a pair. Good rebound by Diekman. And here come the Muskies. There's a trap. Josh over to Briggs Miller. And having Diekman be such a competent ball handler helps against that press because you can see over the top of some of the smaller guards trying to trap. Diekman in the lane, 12 footer good. Josh Diekman with a nice pull up. And it's 5-4 North. And now Reed also set to check in for the Muskies. There's Brown. Swings it over for Wellman. And now Houston in the paint. Tries to feed Gwynn underneath. He kicks it to Wellman for a three out of the corner. High off the top of the glass. No good. No rebound Diekman. Muskies in the front court. Can take the lead here. Hufford drives in. To Claire, three ball, top of the key, no good. Rebound, Waker, Claire runs it down. Muskie's beaten North to a lot of loose balls right now. And and there's a foul. foul. Good yeah. hustle by Waker. Yeah, he got a good look. I thought it was going down, but then he followed his shot. It seems like such a simple formula. Shoot it, follow your shot, but good things happen when you hustle. Muscatine finding that out. Cade Gwynn with a foul, and that's his first 30-second timeout. Coach Polite, and I don't blame him. He's getting on it. Kids a little here. 327 to play in the first. No Jan not dressed tonight. No Jan is he not. I wonder on if he's the sick. I know there is a bug going around. So but that's a huge loss for the Muskies. We did not get that. Sorry update. we didn't see yeah. that. We did not get the update before the game and uh didn't notice it. Maybe some games been shipped. We knew he wanting. didn't start, but we've we, but there's been a couple games he hasn't started this year. Not wanting it to maybe get uh around the gym that he wasn't available. I would keep that a secret if my leading scorer was potentially well, I'll never out. forget the night uh, a couple years ago when Joe Wieskamp had the flu and we went to Davenport West and nobody knew when the place was packed. And I just got confirmation Noah it was homesick today, so he's unable to play. Deakman right wing, three balls, short air ball, no good rebound out of bounds, actually. It'll go to North. 5-4 Wildcats, 3.20 to play first quarter. Pace is really in Muscatine's favor right now. Houston out high, guarded by Elsa, swings it to Quinn. Now it's Wiseman. Wiseman over to Brown. Brown drives in the lane. Nice fish uh, feed to Gwynn for the layup, and it's 7-4. And now they're slapping that pressure on. They're going to hound the Muskies of this the rest of the night. There's Hufford driving to their lane. Shot on the way. No good take, though, and a miss. Rebound Wiseman. Pushes it ahead for Houston. Euro step into the lane. Shot no good. And a rebound Waker Clare. Good defense by Reed Alsis. Pass ahead for Hufford. Hufford feeds Clare in the lane. Out of Alsis. Back to Braden Hufford. Hufford reverses it to Claire. And now Josh. Diekman goes baseline to the rim. Shot it away. Good, Josh <laughs> what Diekman. A athletic finish there by Diekman. Diekman with all six Muskie points. And Josh can do that. I lo love seeing his aggressiveness on the offensive end right now. There's Wellman to Weissman. Weissman dribbles to his right. Trevor Diedrich set to check in for the Muskies. Gwynn has it out high. Two minutes to play first quarter. Seven to six north. Wellman out high. Tries to backdoor pass to Houston, but it's too far out in front. Turnover north. Number 23, Abdul Diallo checks in for north, along with Makai Jacobs checking back in. Three. 
And the, the guy didn't check in. Trying to get a player to report. Some confusion there. People think that we're the old, yeah. the, the score guys sometimes yep. and try to report with us. Seven six north, one fifty to play in the first. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if, if we could check him in, we'd be fine. I, but yeah, I, but you don't nobody. Want me. This is Judd's table. We all know that. <laughs> There's Diedrichs, picks his dribble up, but it's stolen by Houston to the rim, lays it in. Nine to six as the pressure gets the Muskies that time. There's Hufford. He dribbles, they're looking for the double team. Now Diekman has it, and the Muskies break pressure. Josh in the front court. But with North running three guys at that point of the press to try to trap no matter which way you turn, Muscatine's got to try to attack that on the back end. Also shot, no good, Gwen clears. Pretty strong sophomore there, and there's a foul by Hufford. That'll be the first on Braden and the fourth on the Muskies. Just panicked a little bit and got his hands on the guy. Move your feet. Try to use that sideline at your advantage and, and force him to step on the line. Jacobs to Brown. Brown guarded by Diedrichs. Trevor working really hard out high. And now he's got a five-second call. Good defense by Diedrichs. Diedrich was extended the whole time, did a nice job. The count was on. Nine-six north, 105 to play in the first Diekman baseline. Picks his dribble up. Like to see him get it into Josh on the post. Haven't seen that yet. Alsis goes baseline, tries to throw it out, and Brown steals it. Here comes North. Brown in the front court. He goes baseline on Diedrichs. Now he kicks it back to Houston. Houston, nice runner with the left hand. And in 11 to 6 north. Going back to that last Muscatine possession, I think I'd like to see Reed Olsis go up with the shot there. He had the guys up in the air on the pump fake. Hufford on high to Claire left wing. Now they feed Diekman. Nice dive by Josh. Misses the bunny. And there's a pass ahead for Jacobs. Jacobs down the lane to the rim. No good rebound on the floor. Picked up by Waker Clare. And now Hufford. Muskies have numbers. Diedrich throws it ahead to Alsis. Alsis underneath kicks it back. Clare for three. No. Good shot and a miss. Good, and look, a rebound good pass north. back out by Alsis. Just didn't fall. And we played a quarter. at Stamport North 11. The Muskies 6. We're stepping away. For 60 seconds, you're watching Muskie Boys Basketball, the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. Choose Poop Pals for your local pet waste management, lawn care service, snow removal, and much more. Starting as low as $7, call your friendly neighborhood pooper scoopers for a quote. Proud supporter of Muskie Sports. At Avenue Subs, our sandwiches are sliced fresh, made to order, using only quality ingredients. They are topped the way you like it, along with one of our delicious sauces. Make sure you try one of our daily soups or get one of our baked potatoes. They are loaded and guaranteed to fill you up. If pot roast is your thing, try our signature sandwich, The Avenue. And remember, you can eat it here with us or have it delivered. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is where Muskie fans go before the game. Our southern Mexican cuisine is truly unique to Muscatine, and we make sure everyone who walks in is treated like family. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is a proud supporter of Muskie Athletics. Back at Muscatine High School, Brian Musil, Joe Crossauer, one quarter down, and it's 11 to six north over the Muskies. Noah Yan out tonight with an illness. Briggs Miller has it as we start quarter number two. He's guarded by Jacobs. Goes to his left, poked away and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Muskies. Stay tuned at the half coming up. Toyota Muscatine halftime show. North just runs three or four guys at the front end of that press they are athletic and quick and can just really cause problems. Laker Claire left wing to Diekman, top of the key. It's guarded by Weissman, swings it over to Briggs Miller. Diekman with all six musky points. There's Diedrichs, picks his dribble up. Back out to Miller, now it's Waker Claire. 
Claire drives baseline. He couldn't keep his pivot foot down and a travel on the Muskies. Just really good defense from Jaden Houston. Keeping it in front of his man, moving his feet. Jesse Cooley checks into the lineup, a 6'6 senior. There's Houston. Over to Cooley. Now they reverse it. There's Jacobs for three. Good. Knocks it down. It's 14 to 6 north. And that pressure continues. Just straight man pressure looking to trap. Now it's Diedrich's nice feed to Alsis to the rim. Shot good. Read and Alsis. That, and that's what Muscatine has to do. They're committing so many resources to the top end of that pressure that if you're able to break it, you've got to try to score quick. Deep three by Wallman, no good, and a foul on Cooley underneath. 6.54 to play in a half, 14-8. Davenport North. Cooley with the push off. Brown checks in for Jacobs. Keep rotating fresh bodies in for the press. Diekman looking to get it in. Gets it to Claire, now back to Diekman. And there's a steal as Houston, Houston with great length. Now he gets it back from Weissman. Good feed by Weissman, 16 to eight. Eight point lead and we got a timeout Muscatine at 30. We're gonna leave right here and Joel, you know, without your leading score, it's just gonna be tougher and tougher because his pressure, you may handle it well early, but it just continues yeah. to wear on you. You know, it's, it's like the old, uh, you know, a drip of water, it, it, it doesn't hurt, but it eventually will just erode you away. And that's kind of what this does, is you may beat it, you may win in a couple of battles, but the thought process is we're just going to be so persistent that we're going to win the war. Yep. And right now we're seeing that a little bit with North. Uh, that play by Jaden McDonald, or Jaden Houston, just phenomenal. A good tip, Wiseman got the steal, and then Wiseman rewarded Houston with a nice assist. 16-8 North. Claire gets it. He's guarded by Houston. And then they get it to Briggs Miller, and the, they run the trap at him, and now Briggs goes out of it. There's the ball deflected. Good defense. And what they're doing, Joel, is they're laying off. The, as soon as the first pass is made, they're looking to double-team the guy that catches it, and then they're falling back on the other side. And, you know, the Muskies actually may have to skip pass and go to a, you know, there's usually a guy, oh, nice, nice move by Diekman. Strong move by Josh. Yeah, he was four on one there. He had four guys around him, and he was able to finish strong. That's a matchup. The Muskies had a distinct advantage inside, and if they can break pressure and pound it in, I think Diekman can have a field day. There's a shot by Wellman. Good. 18 to 10 north. Wellman just kind of lulled him to sleep and had a nice backdoor cut. There's Hufford. He dribbles it up. Now he gets That's it a good to Diekman, play. gets it in the middle of the floor. Now they feed corner for Alsis. Reed drives in, kicks it over to Miller. Now to Claire. And now Hufford. Cross court for Diekman. Josh, three, top of the key. No good. Rebound Cooley. There's a pass ahead north looking to run. Houston with a reverse, no good. And a rebound cleared by Alsis. Well, the other thing is it's pacing starts to trend towards the north style of play is we've seen their substitution patterns. They just have more bodies they can throw out there right now than Muscatine does. Hufford at left wing. Feeds Diekman. Josh backs into Wellman and he gets an offensive foul. That's a second on Josh and that's a big one with 5.16 to play in a half. Coach Wyndham may have to ride him here. Yeah. He is putting Nick Schultz in though for a little bit. But the Muskies better find some scoring as Diekman has eight of the Muskie ten points. And without Noah Yon, that makes it even more difficult with Josh on the bench. There's Wallman to Brown. Now to Cooley. Nick Schultz steps out on him. Reverse it to Wallman. Wellman now over to Diallo. There's a shot straight on, no good. By number 21, Wiseman. He doesn't too, take a lot of them. Missed that one. There's Claire on the right wing for the Muskies. To Ulsus on the block. 
Reed cross court Hufford. There's a three left wing. Good, Braden Hufford. That's a big shot. That's your first three by First National Bank. Go see the Hall of Famer Scott Engstad at First National Bank. Big shot. You're right, Joel. He needed to make that. A good look, and Braden knocked it down. There's a step back 17 footer. No good by Brown. Cleared by Schultz. Here come the Muskies. Briggs Miller in the front court. They reverse it now. Waker Claire. Claire to Ulsus. Ulsus back over to Briggs Miller. He goes baseline, kicks it back to Ulsus. Reed in the paint, runner, no, and a foul. Good take by Ulsus. Yeah, strong take from the forward. Trying to finish at the rim. You know, it's just a five-point game. It feels like with the pacing, you can feel like maybe you're down by a little bit more than what Muscatine is, but they're hanging right in there. Slow it down, draw some fouls. Fouls on Jesse Cooley, his... Second, Ulsus at the line, 46% on the year. First free throw, good. Reed with three tonight off the bench. Second free throw by Ulsus, good. Reed makes a pair, and it's 18 to 15. Muskies have cut this to three. That's big that he can hit those free throws. It's not been Muscatine's strength throughout this season. Wellman to Brown. And there's offensive an offensive foul. foul on North. Yeah, 21, I think. Oh, they got a moving screen on 20. Jesse Cooley, that's okay. his third. I thought they called it on the pull and the push pull move that number 21, uh, Quincy Wiseman, committed on the break. So there were a couple opportunities, I think, for an offensive foul. It was a great pass rush technique by Wiseman. <laughs> just, <laughs> just uh, There's Hufford on the spin in the lane, tries to feed Miller to. Slapped out of bounds, musky ball. 3.43 to play in the half. Stay tuned at the half toe to Muscatine halftime show. Hufford looking to inbounds to Briggs Miller. Now they swing it to Hufford. Cross court back to Miller. On high now for Diedrichs. They play catch on the outside. Briggs looking to get it in. Back to Hufford. Braden. Goes to the elbow and kicks it back to Miller. He works off an also screen for three, blocked by Gwynn. And now it's Wiseman and Gwynn two on one down the lane. Wiseman lays it up and in. Yeah, the Muskie, uh, on their offensive possession, they were look, went looking for the shot, didn't realize it was blocked. And that created a run-out opportunity for the Wildcats. 20 to 15 north, three minutes to play and a half. They're going to 10 seconds call here. It's going to be close. and. Wyndham calls a timeout. Coach Wyndham saw it too, so he saved it with a timeout. It's a 30. We're going to leave it here. 2.57 left in the half, 20 to 15 north. So this is kind of a, a stiff thick lineup here for the Muskies. They're trying to stop any bleeding that has happened with their two leading scorers out of the game right now. Diekman on the bench with two fouls. Noah Jan not playing tonight from illness. And so this is one of those things where you just come in and you just play within yourself and try not to allow anything to hemorrhage. As you, as you go here, you know, some, look to survive. Last three minutes, the five-point game, two-possession ball game. It, you just don't try to do too much, but don't don't just be super passive either. So run the offense and then score. Olsis, Scholes, Hufford, three capable scorers on the floor for the Muskies as well. Muskies doing a much better job of handling pressure. Here's the second quarter moves on. 20 to 15, north by five. They led by five after one quarter. Here's Diedrichs, jump stop in the lane to Hufford. Hufford picks his dribble up. Now he swings to Dulces, but he travels first. Turnover Muscatine. And that's just it, too. Once you get into the half court like that, North is making you play at a quicker pace than you want to play, yep. and those types of unforced errors happen. Wellman brings it up now for the Wildcats. Diedrichs, good defense on high. Now Wellman. Good defense. Trevor Diedrichs really working hard out front. Makai Jacobs gets it to Houston. Houston backs down on Ulsa. Shot on the way. No good rebound. Houston back up and in. Good move by Jaden Houston. He's up to 11 and leads all scores. Diekman with eight for the Muskies. 22-15 north. Waker Claire 
to Diedrich's feet, Schull's baseline. Nick kicks it over to Claire, now it's back to Briggs Miller. And now Claire feeds into Schultz. Nice dive to the rim, and he's fouled. Yeah, it was good. Uh, Gwen. Schultz kind of faked the screen. The defender looked to kind of hedge off the screen, and he just cut to the rim. A good feed. Schultz will go to the stripe. 59% on the year. First free throw, no good by Nick. One forty-seven left in the half. Second free throw by Schultz, no good. Missed a pair in the rebound, Houston. Wellman walks it up. Over to Houston. Houston backs down on Olsis. Big defense by Olsis there. Now Wiseman works with the Houston screen. Back to Houston, a lot of standing around by North, but. Houston goes to the rim, misses this one, also with a strong rebound. And here come the Muskies. It's a really strong defensive possession by the Muskies there. Diedrichs with the rim, no, and a foul on Jacobs, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Good take by Trevor Diedrichs. So the Muskies have a chance here. The next foul puts them in the bonus as well. Can maybe get some points here at the free throw stripe. Trevor's free throw, good. He's in the scoring column now. The Muskies led by Diekman with eight, Alsus with four. And now Trevor Diedrichs with two. 110 to play and a half, 22 17. Wamba, nice crossover to Jacobs. He loses it out of bounds, turnover north. Good defense there for the Muskies. Really been impressed with how Muscatines played defense tonight. And he handled the pressure for the most part. This pressure though, like I said, it, you exert a ton of energy. Ulses to the rim, shot and away, blocked underneath by Houston. Slapped out of bounds, it'll stay with the Muskies. Ulses went for the pump fake, but Houston, such a good athlete. Kept his feet and just timed it perfectly. Don't know if he plays football. I don't remember Joel, but he's got a football body. He's a strong kid. Shot by Schultz, no good rebound. Houston. Yeah, he plays under control, too. Ahead to Weissman down the lane, lays it up and in. 24 17 North. There's Schultz. Win almost with a foul. And Claire gets it. Now they're going to trap him. Cross court for Diedrichs. I'm not sure there was much almost about it. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> it was. There's D Diedrichs with the baseline jumper. Good. Four quick points for Trevor Diedrichs. Jacobs walks it over half court. They're going to play for one here. Clock at nine. Gets to Houston, top of the key. Houston, cross court, Wellman for three at the buzzer. No good. We've played a half. It's Davenport North 24 and the Muscatine Muskies 19. Joel and I are going to step away for two minutes and we'll be back with the Toyota Muscatine halftime show. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. Channel Seed knows that farmers are never off the clock, and neither are they. Anybody can sell you seed. Only a Channel Seedsman gives you everything you need to make the most of it. See your local Channel Seedsman, Matt Fletcher, and Muscatine. Channel Seed is a proud sponsor of Muskie Sports. Why should someone bank at First National Bank? Because we care about our customers, and we're committed to meeting their financial needs, and we're also a big part of the community. Get into the manufacturing industry of your choice on your terms. We prepare you with hands-on training, flexible class schedules, and a network of employers after graduation. Now that's community. We are Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. All right, guys, we've got some great news. There's a rumor out there there's a huge sales call coming in today. Good thing Jimmy's not here to steal my thunder again. A big sale? I wonder who it is. Huh. Did I pack a tuna sandwich this morning? Why wasn't I in the last commercial? All right, everyone on the same page? 
you guys are not gonna believe this. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hello, this is Jim, can I help you? Yep, yep, thank you for the business. The mission of our company is to serve our clients with the most efficient and courteous service available. People in our community, when they ask, who are we gonna get for pest control, they just call Bosch. Remember, insects or pests, call the best, Bosch Pest Control. back at Muscatine High School. Brian Musell, Joe Crossauer here at the half. And the Muskies trail Davenport North 24 to 19. North led after one, 11 to six. They stretch their lead to eight on two different occasions. It's 16 to eight and 18 to 10 in the second quarter. But the Muskies fought back valiantly, cut it to three at 18 to 15. And trail here at the half, 24, 19. Josh Diekman leads the Muskies with eight. And uh, the leading scorer on the season, Jaden Houston, averages 17 and a half a game, has 11 for North. Muskies playing tonight without their leading scorer, uh, Noah Yan, was not in school today, was sick and uh, not here tonight. So uh, tough going for the Muskies. But, Joel, Muskies have competed hard. They've got uh, some nice contributions off the bench. Reed Alsis with four. Trevor Diedrichs with four late to help pick up the scoring slack, and they've really started to handle the pressure better as the game went on here. So to me, it just depends on the energy they're going to have in the second half to deal with it. Yeah, they expended a lot of energy, but I think if you had written it down on a piece of paper and said, what do you pick the score? Uh, the leading scorer for Mustine out ill with illness, second leading scorer misses most of the second quarter with two fouls. What do you think the score would be? People would not have said 24-19. to 19. This is just a five-point ball right. game. Muscatine getting outstanding contributions off their bench. Uh, Trevor Diedrichs, yeah, he's, he's gotten into the scoring category, but he's played outstanding defense uh, uh, on the ball. Uh, point defense has been outstanding for the Muskies tonight. Reed Olsis also able to defend uh, against uh, Houston as well. And uh, we've seen some half-court shots fall in here, uh, here at this halftime as well. Josh Diekman at eight points, went to the bench with two fouls of 5.19 to go in the half. Sat the entire half, and the Muskies kept us at only five. That's a big plus for the Muskies, and they got to keep Josh out of foul trouble in the second half. He's carrying a big brunt of the scoring load, so we'll see where it goes from there. And that's, uh, you know, it's, it's always a challenge when you're playing a team as disruptive as North is. How do you get your offense going? And Muscatine, really, I think they almost look more comfortable playing at this faster tempo. It's been kind of fun to watch tonight. No doubt about it. Joel and I are going to take a little bit of a time out. I want you to hear from some of our tremendous advertisers that make all these broadcasts possible. We're going to take a little extended time out, three-minute time out, so you can see and hear about all the great things these advertisers do to make these broadcasts possible. Taking a three-minute time out at the half, you're watching Musky Boys Basketball on the Musky Musky Sports Network. Choose Poop Pals for your local pet waste management, lawn care service, snow removal, and much more. Starting as low as $7, call your friendly neighborhood pooper scoopers for a quote. Proud supporter of Muskie Sports. At Avenue Subs, our sandwiches are sliced fresh, made to order, using only quality ingredients. They are topped the way you like it, along with one of our delicious sauces. Make sure you try one of our daily soups or get one of our baked potatoes. They are loaded and guaranteed to fill you up. If pot roast is your thing, try our signature sandwich, The Avenue. And remember, you can eat it here with us or have it delivered. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is where Muskie fans go before the game. Our southern Mexican cuisine is truly unique to Muscatine, and we make sure everyone who walks in is treated like family. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is a proud supporter of Muskie Athletics. 
Channel Seed knows that farmers are never off the clock and neither are they. Anybody can sell you seed. Only a Channel Seedsman gives you everything you need to make the most of it. See your local Channel Seedsman, Matt Fletcher and Muscatine. Channel Seed is a proud sponsor of Muskie Sports. Why should someone bank at First National Bank? Because we care about our customers and we're committed to meeting their financial needs and we're also a big part of the community. Get into the manufacturing industry of your choice on your terms. We prepare you with hands-on training, flexible class schedules, and a network of employers after graduation. Now that's community. We are Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. All right, guys, we got some great news. There's a rumor out there there's a huge sales call coming in today. Good thing Jimmy's not here to steal my thunder again. A big sale? I wonder who it is. Huh. Did I pack a tuna sandwich this morning? Why wasn't I in the last commercial? All right, everyone on the same page? You guys are not gonna believe this. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh. Hello, this is Jim, can I help you? Yep, yep, thank you for the business. The mission of our company is to serve our clients with the most efficient and courteous service available. People in our community, when they ask, who are we gonna get for pest control, they just call Bosch. Remember, insects or pests, call the best. Bosch Pest Control. Back at Muscatine High School, one half in the books. 24-19, Davenport North. This is the Toyota Muscatine. Halftime show. I want to mention some of our other great sponsors. After the game, you'll hear the Mustang Power Water post game show. Joel will name his play of the game, sponsored by Chicharos. His defensive player of the game, sponsored by Eastern Iowa Community College. And the Guadalajara offensive player of the game, as always, a highlight reel, sponsored by Discover Muscatine. All three pointers made by the Muskies, sponsored by First National Bank of Muscatine. Only one of those in the first half. Poop Pals is our fan cam. Hy-Vee Market Grill is our selfie station. And other broadcast sponsors, Avenue Subs, XL Auto Glass, Nutrition Outlet, Boonies on the Avenue, and Joel's favorite, Bash and Bounce. Hey, I am a big bounce house guy. I've got three kids. I'll take a bounce house. I might have to give Poop Pals a call, too. We're getting a puppy so in a couple be, weeks. Should it be bounce and bash? Because when you bounce, then you start bashing people. Right? You have to or, let Chris Anderson know. You I don't mean, bash him before you bounce, do you? I, maybe. Or maybe you bash him and then they bounce. I don't know. All I know is they're fun. <laughs> you can put, it doesn't matter how old you are. You can get into a bounce castle. Well, it does matter how old you are because you could really be hurting at the True. end of that. Yeah, I have been. You get to be sure. my age and it's like dragging a bag of bones out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you would. It would be kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I could see the back of the day, though, you, you and the Michelle boys. Oh, yeah. And so uh, you guys getting after it. Oh, yeah. And an honor, and this is something I really can't show on the air because it won't, uh, you won't be able to see it, but uh, I got a. Oh, where is it here? I got. Uh, You'll love this, Joel. You have, while you find that, we have an updated score go with for four it. minutes to go in the second quarter. Muskie girls and North girls are tied at 10. In honor of Andy Reid and the uh, Kansas City are you Chiefs. The, is it your picture of your son? No, it's, yeah, you've seen this, right? Yeah, your is son is Andy Reid on Halloween. Isn't is that phenomenal. the best? And when he went to Iowa City a couple mm -hmm. years ago on uh, Halloween night with a bunch of buddies uh, from you and I went down to meet with their buddies at Iowa. And, and uh, my son, Nick, has... That was a, a fun Super Bowl on Sunday. He said he had more pictures taken with people that night downtown. I just said. <laughs> Too bad now he needs to get a fake Lombardi trophy to walk around with. He should do it. Big red. 24-19, <laughs> we start the <laughs> second half down Port North. Wellman to Jacobs, and we're underway. There's a set play out of the halftime. Wiseman with the turnaround jumper, good. Well executed by North. 26-19, North by seven. The pressure is going to get ramped up here. Jacobs tries to get a steal. And Briggs Miller recovers. Now they run the double in the backcourt. Diekman comes to the center to get it. Nice pass to Claire. Nice adjustment there by the Muskies. And Claire Good finish for the, the lefty. Lap. 
And Joel, that's what they did. The Muskies got it in the center of the floor, and then you have numbers on the other end, three on two. There's a ball tipped by Claire and recovered by Jacobs. Jacobs drives the lane, shot rejected by Hufford, and here come the Muskies. It's one way to beat pressure, run. Jack There's yep. Alsis on the block. Over to Deakman, corner three for Josh, no. Rebound Wellman. Feeds Houston, and there's a foul on Briggs Miller, and they call it intentional. And Briggs grabbed him with both hands around his shoulders, and I can't disagree with yeah. the call there. Yeah. And that's a so intentional foul, only two shots, but North also gets the basketball. And there, Briggs isn't a dirty player. No, he was just a trying dirty to play. He was trying to prevent yeah. him from making the layup, yeah, he but he did it the yeah, wrong and way. Yeah, and it was the right call. There's no yes. disagreement in the call. And Houston misses a pair. But North retains possession. There's Wiseman to get it in. He gets it out front for a while, but now they get it to Wiseman right back to him. He goes baseline to the rim. And that, you know, the help left on the baseline, and Wiseman saw it and goes to the rim 28 21. We'll get a timeout, Muscatine. And this is where the Muskies need to be organized after a made basket. There can't be any hesitation because North is so quick to set that pressure up. You have to know immediately who's going to take the ball out. And if it's a situation where a guy's away from the basket, you have to know who the number two guy is taking the ball out too. So you, you, so you can quickly get the ball, get the ball in and start to run your press break because if you wait any seconds to let them get that press set up, it's trouble for Muscatine. 6.40 to play in the third, 28-21. North by seven and the pressure has been ramped up a little to start the second half. You can see it and Coach Polite uh, Really getting on him at halftime, we, I think, to crank it up. And when you th see Coach Blight coach at the at, on the sideline, you know during offense he's he's really pretty quiet. He, they know what their offensive sets are and they execute them. On defense, he is a frenzied, <laughs> frenzied guy. He then he wants his team to mimic that level of intensity. It's fun to watch him coach his defense because they they've really bought into what he expects of them. Muskies will inbounds. Coach Wyndham out of the timeout. They broke pressure really nice last time to get a layup. Now Deekman gets it in to Miller. Back to Josh. Josh now bumps. Good and there's a foul. It's going to be on Wiseman. Nice double pass concept there from the Muskies to create some space to get an inbound to Deekman. First foul on Quincy Wiseman and the first on North here in the second half. Waker Claire looking to get it in, and there's an offensive foul on Briggs Miller as he runs over Jacobs. That'll be the second on Briggs, second on the Muskies. Yeah, I, I could look like their feet just got tangled up. He did extend his arm, but. And that's where they got it, Joel. You're yeah. exactly right. But I think he was going down off of the, the tangle. Briggs really twisted his ankle or something there. He's in some pain. There's Wiseman, nice feed to Gwynn, lays it up and in. Great pass, 30-21 to 21 North, their biggest lead, nine. There's a screen and roll there. There's a pass ahead for Hufford, Muskie's break pressure. Now they get it to Claire, three out of the right wing. Good, Waker Claire. Another three by First National Bank Muscatine. Go see Wayne Johansson and Teresa Shopper at First National Bank. There's Houston, over to Jacobs. 30 to 24, there's a pass, almost stolen. Picked up now by Houston on the right wing. There's a three by Wiseman, top of the key, good. 33-24, he's come to life. He has 11 now to match the 11 by Houston. There's a ball, almost stolen, but also picks it up. Reed on the, or excuse me, Claire on the right wing. Out high for Hufford. Now Deakman feeds inside Waker Claire backs in shot. Good. Waker Claire with seven points here in the third, and it's 33-26. There's Wellman. Nice feed to Houston. Shot up. No good. Rebound. Alsis. Here come the Muskies. 
Hufford tries to ah. feed Diekman, throws it away. Turnover, Muskies. I like the play. Who's trying to get a get a bucket? Try to get aggressive play there. Just sailed on him. 33-26, north by seven. Just got an update for all you Dodger fans out there. They just acquired Mookie Betts and David Price for the Red Sox. So there's Wiseman for three short rebound also. And I know there's a lot of Dodger blue here <laughs> in the stands tonight. There's a shot, no, and a blocking foul on Reed Alces. And good sportsmanship there by Makai yeah. Jacobs picking up Reed. And Reed always playing hard. You can tell Reed plays football. Yeah. Not afraid of contact. And I, and I felt like he was set there, but that's just my opinion as a color commentator. Or as a football coach. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> the big guys always get picked on. It was close, though. Reed really hustled over to get in position. First free throw, no good. Jacob second on the way, good. He has four points, and it's 34-26 north by eight. 440 to play here in the third. Hufford over half court. Over to Waker, Claire. Claire's been the scoring star of the third for the Muskies. Swings it over in the corner now. Trevor Diedrichs. Out front, Waker, Claire. Claire drives the lane, shot on the way. Good, Waker, Claire. 34 28, Claire now. All the way up to nine, all here in the third. Wiseman kicks it out. Houston for three, rattles out. No good. Rebound, Gwynn. Back to Houston, lays it up and in. There's Hufford. Bounces it ahead to Claire. Oh, and Lexi Waker attack there. Nice pass from Diedrichs to Alsis, lays it up and in. Muscatine not afraid of this. They're attacking this pressure. Trevor Diedrichs played really well also off the bench with the assist there. Well, you're wondering who's going to pick up the slag without Jan. Well, Claire with nine. Diedrichs and Alsis each with four tonight. There's Gwynn. Swings it over for Jacobs. Feed it inside. Weiss rejected by Diekman. <laughs> Great block. Pass ahead. Diedrichs. Into Diekman, Josh to the rim. No good rebound tipped and picked up by Diekman. Lays it up and into the foul. It's the and one after a strong offensive rebound a tip from Reed Olsis. Fouls on Cade Gwynn. 3-12 to play in the third. And the Muskies can cut it to three. Mm -hmm. Diekman now in double figures at 10. Josh got that big block down on the defensive end and his teammates rewarded him with two great opportunities. Diekman's free throw good. Josh up to 11. And it's 36 33. Muskies hanging tight. Jacobs walks it over half court to Houston. Houston swings it over for Gwynn. Now they feed it out high for Brown. Reverse it to Jacobs. Jacobs throws it away. Pass. Turnover north. Abdul Diallo checks into the lineup for North. So it's Diallo, Houston, Wiseman, Brown, and Jacobs. The Muskies have Olsis, uh, Briggs, Miller, Diedrichs, Waker, Claire, and Diekman. And there's a five second call. Yep, five second call. Five second call. Actually, we got a foul. Oh, they do? Oh, they call the push off on Diedrichs. <laughs> Trevor Diedrichs with a foul, his first. Off the ball foul, fourth on the Muskies. 36-33, Muskies trail by three. Valiant effort here in the third. Waker Claire really put a spark into the Muskies with his nine points. There's Brown, he picks his dribble up, back to Wiseman. Wiseman leads north with 13, and there's a foul on yeah. Wiseman, pushing off on it's Briggs low. Miller. <laughs> Actually, it's on Diallo. This yeah. first. The ledger is now back in balance. <laughs> Diekman on the inbounds. He's got to get rid of that ball. And he does declare, but it's slapped 
Off the hands of Claire, out of bounds, turnover Muskies. Great defense there by Jaden Houston. So the Muskies, two opportunities to go down and try to tie this. Have turned it over both times, once with a foul and once with a turnover. There's Diallo at the elbow, drives in the lane, loses it, picked up by Wiseman. He runs it down in the corner. Now it's out high for Jacobs. Muskie's boy Diedrich's really busting his tail on defense. Playing really good defense. There's Brown, nice pass to Diallo, he loses it out of bounds, turnover north. Good help defense from Diekman, forced an errant pass. If you like breakfast, we got turnovers here at Muscatine. <laughs> There's Alsis in the lane, kicks it out. Claire, three ball on the way, no good. And a rebound run down by Diedrichs. Great hustle by the junior. Briggs Miller has it. Briggs travels. Yeah, he switched his pivot foot. Just lost track of where he was on the floor. But you said it, Brian. What, what the hustle from Trevor Diedrichs. Running that rebound down. Muscatine's winning 50-50 balls right now. 145 to play in the third, 36-33 north. There's a nice backdoor pass, and Brown finishes at 38-33. Briggs Miller has it to Diekman. Josh pushes the head for Claire. Now they feed Alsa's baseline. Reed with a 15-footer, long, no good rebound, Wiseman. Wiseman over to Jacobs. Jacobs drives in, loses it, now he kicks it out to Houston. Houston to the rim and a foul, either on Claire or Diekman. And it's on Waker Claire. That'll be his second. Houston will go to the line to shoot two. One for four from the stripe tonight, just 58% of the year. And he makes this one. Muskies with a nice run here. It trailed by nine, cut it to three. And North has now bumped it back up to six. 39-33 with a minute eight to play. And there's a ball deflected right in front of us by Wiseman with those quick hands. Thank goodness it was low. I don't think it could have reacted, Joel. <laughs> That's all right. I'm already ugly, so I can take another basketball yeah, really? in the face. <laughs> there's Alsis over to Diedrichs. One minute to play in the third. And there's a the ball slapped away, and it's going to be a musky ball. Hufford will check in for Diedrichs. Boy, great minutes tonight from Trevor Diedrichs for the Muskies. Briggs Miller has it. Over to Hufford. Hufford drives baseline. Almost drug his foot. Now Diekman to the rim. Good, Josh Diekman. Diekman with 13, and the lead's cut to four. Jacobs out high. North may play for one. Clock at 30. Now they swing it to Houston. He's guarded by Reed Alsis. Also staying in a good stance. Now Wiseman, clock at 15. We got a carry, turnover north. Coach Polite didn't have to say anything. You just tell that he didn't agree with that one. Yep. There's Diekman, and we got a foul on Wiseman, and that'll be. The second on Quincy Wiseman, and the fourth on North. Wiseman's got to be careful. He's a little hot. He pass into Alsis at the free throw line. Clock at seven. Out to Briggs. Now it's Alsis. Backdoor pass. Miller lays it up and in. Great backdoor cut. We've played three, it's North 39 and the Muskies 38. We're stepping away for 60 seconds. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. 
choose Poop Pals for your local pet waste management, lawn care service, snow removal, and much more. Starting as low as $7, call your friendly neighborhood pooper scoopers for a quote. Proud supporter of Muskie Sports. At Avenue Subs, our sandwiches are sliced fresh, made to order, using only quality ingredients. They are topped the way you like it, along with one of our delicious sauces. Make sure you try one of our daily soups or get one of our baked potatoes. They are loaded and guaranteed to fill you up. If pot roast is your thing, try our signature sandwich, The Avenue. And remember, you can eat it here with us or have it delivered. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is where Muskie fans go before the game. Our southern Mexican cuisine is truly unique to Muscatine, and we make sure everyone who walks in is treated like family. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is a proud supporter of Muskie Athletics. Back at Muscatine High School, Brian Musell, Joe Crossauer, three quarters in the books, and it's 39 37. It's a great half or a great third quarter there from the Muskies. Making a one basket game. Muskies have it to start the fourth. Hufford guarded by Wallman. Muskies trail by nine. There's Diekman to the rim. Good! And the Muskies with their second lead or tied at 39. I had it for 39 38, but it got corrected, so we're tied at 39. Muskie's going to get a lead next possession here, Joel. I, I, I'm predicting that. You're clairvoyant. Maybe it'll be a shot by Waker Claire. There you go. There's a reversal. Wellman for three, right wing good. 42 39. I did jinx it. <laughs> we can get a three and a foul. Four point play. How about that? If that happens. We're going to Riverside. That's right. Because you're, you're on the money. That's right. And there's a foul on the floor on Jacobs. That'll be his second, the fifth on North. The offensive efficiency for Muscatine's been outstanding tonight. There's Deekman baseline. Josh feeds the post to Claire. Claire kicks it out to Ulsus. Now they swing it to Hufford. Hufford reverses to Briggs Miller, and around the horn we go. Waker Claire left wing. Claire swings it to Alsis. Alsis in the paint, kicks it to Deakman. Now it's Miller. 6.40 and ticking. Now they get it to Deakman left wing. Josh guarded by Gwynn. There's a double, there's a ball stolen away by Wellman. Wellman in the corner. There's a three ball on the way, no good. Rebound slapped out of bounds. It'll stay with North. Jacobs with a good look in the corner, couldn't knock it down. It'll be North ball. <laughs> Deakman. Deakman I positioning swear he himself. pointed to North, yeah. Yeah, he did. Josh, a smart play <laughs> there by the Jeff? junior. I'll just stand there and see if they'll hand me the ball. No, I really don't. I, I think there was just some confusion between the officials, too. <laughs> There's Wallman. Kicks it over for Houston. Houston drives in an Alsis and a foul on Reed, and Reed was just standing there. That was Houston initiating the contact and getting the call. Yeah. I think if you the, the whistle rate from this particular official is higher than the other two tonight. Second foul on Reed. Is that Six an advanced metric? Did I just invent a statistic? <laughs> Wellman has it up high. Six minutes to play. North by three. What an effort by the Muskies tonight. There's Wellman left wing three on the way. No good rebound run down by Deepman. And there's a foul on Gwynn from behind. And that'll be his fourth. And that's a big foul because the offense has been a little bit more of a challenge with Gwynn in the game because he is a good defender. 6-5, really, him and Cooley, 6-5, six, 6-6. Six, six. And they both have four fouls. So. Yeah, and the Muskies, you know, really have got the size advantage in this one. And now Diallo's going to check in for Gwynn as they slap on some pressure. 
And the Muskies have been able to make some hay with this lineup on the floor. So Diallo's on Diekman, and Diallo and you don't, is six foot tall. You don't need to be looking for a three if you're the Muskies. It'd be great if you could find one, but make sure it's a good, get clean it, shot. Get it to him. You got him down there. And now that's got to go. Hufford for three, blocked by Wildman. I would have thrown Josh down on the block right there with a six-footer on him. Front court north, swing it over to Jacobs. Jacobs out high for Wildman. Wildman left wing. And north resets. Jacobs swings it over now for Wiseman. Wiseman has 13, Houston 12 to lead north. There's Wiseman, pump fake, elbow jumper, good. Nice move. Quincy Wiseman with 15, a nice move, and it's 44-39. Brings Miller in the front court. Down the lane to Claire, lays it up, and a good feed by Miller. And a layup by Claire Waker now in double figures of 11. There's a shot on away, no, by Jacobs, and a foul on Diekman. That'll be the third on Josh. Jacobs did a nice job of just attacking. Jacobs will go to the line 85% of the year. And that's the kind of free throw percentage you want from your point guard. Free throw good. North came into this one seven and two in the MAC on the year. The Muskies just three and eight. And the Muskies playing without their leading scorer, Noah Yan. Free throw on the way, good. Jacobs makes two, and it's 46-41. There's a ball almost stolen by Wellman. Good hands by Hufford. Braden, spin move in the lane. Kicks it back to Miller, and now Ulsis. There's a feed into Diekman, lays it up and in. Josh Diekman with 17. I love that aggression. 46-43, north by three. Muskies not going away. Houston picks his dribble up. Over to Wiseman. Wiseman reverses to Wallman. Wallman in the lane. Swings it over now for Jacobs. Wallman over to Jacobs. He'll take a three, top of the key short. And run down, saved by Jacobs to Diallo. In the paint, kicks it over to Houston. Houston in the lane, back to Diallo. Down the lane, no, and a foul on Deepman, and that'll be four on Josh. No shot, it's gonna be on the ground. And that's four on Josh Deepman. And that's a huge foul with 3.48 left. On the floor, so Diallo will shoot one and one. So it's a one and one. Eighth team foul on the Muskies, and now Jake Thomas will come in for Diekman. Yeah, Diekman, he won't be out long. Yeah, he's done a great job. This is a, a management situation with the four fouls. And he's had to handle the ball so much against pressure, Joel. Yeah, that's a, that's a big a blow yeah, there. That's a big X factor there, too. Free throw's good, so in that role now, if they slap the press, I would think it'd probably be Waker Claire back there. Yep with this lineup. Ulsis has some, some handles too. And it will be Reed Ulsis bringing it in. And they're going to kind of back yep. off the press a little bit here, try yeah. to. Half court man. Hufford in the front court, 340 to play. Five point lead for North. Hufford goes baseline, feeds it into Briggs Miller. Briggs Miller back to Hufford. Now it's Miller. He's guarded by Jacobs. Jacobs all over Briggs. Now he swings it over for Alsis. Slapped out of bounds by Diallo. Muskie ball. The, the North defense is just relentless. Waker Claren, there's an offensive foul again on Briggs Miller. And that's going to be the third on Briggs and the ninth on the Muskies. Jacobs brings it over half court. 3.15 to play. There's Wellman. He looks at it. He thought about it. He down. wanted it. 
Here's Jacobs. Feeds Diallo inside. Over to Houston. Now it's a corner three by Wiseman. No good. Jacobs runs down the rebound. Back to Wiseman for the runner. No good. And a rebound. Waker Claire. Good rebound. Hufford in the front court. Muskies need a hoop here. Cross court now for Ulses. Over to Claire. Three ball left wing. Back iron. No good. Ulses with a rebound. Claire again. Left wing. No good rebound on the floor and out of bounds. It'll go to the Muskies. Good rebound from Olsis. Had two good looks there for Claire. Now let's get, allow Diekman to get back into the game. Diekman back in for Thomas. Good minute and a half there by Jake. Reed Olsis, boy, really working hard. Played really well off the bench tonight. I don't think he's come out since the second quarter. There's Diekman, right wing. They feed Alsis and it's slapped out of bounds. It'll be stay with the Muskies. Just got a text that Zoe Long has broken the all-time three-point record. Muscatine High School for girls. There's a shot on the inbounds. Good. Congratulations by to Zoe. Claire, Zoe Long. Hoping to get that last week on one of our telecasts is now the all-time three-point score in Muscatine High School history, and she's just a junior, and there's a foul on the floor. Congrats to Zoe. Foul's gonna be on Waker Claire, and that'll be Waker's third. So Jacobs go to the line to shoot two. The latest score reported for there is Muscatine leading 33-32 with six minutes in the fourth quarter in that girls' ball game. If you recall, Joel, that was the one. Muskies led 34-20 to after three at home and lost 35-34. So the Muskies really wanted to get him back. So we've got a blood, got blood situation here for Briggs. Yep, 33-32, 6-15 to go like you just said, and Zoe Long. All-time three-point shooter. Timeout, Muscatine, 2.23 to play, 48-45 North. We're stepping away for 30 seconds. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. Channel Seed knows that farmers are never off the clock, and neither are they. Anybody can sell you seed. Only a Channel Seedsman gives you everything you need to make the most of it. See your local Channel Seedsman, Matt Fletcher, and Muscatine. Channel Seed is a proud sponsor of Muskie Sports. Why should someone bank at First National Bank? Because we care about our customers and we're committed to meeting their financial needs and we're also a big part of the community. Back at, <laughs> Back at Muscatine High School. Brian Musell, Coach Crossauer, 48-45. North on top of the Muskies, 2.23 left in this one. North led 11-6 after one, 24-19 at the half. Stretcher lead at one point, late in the third by nine, and the Muskies cut it down to one by the end of the third, actually by two at 39-37. You know, Musk, two, Musk, go ahead, Joel. Well, 2.23 left in this game. It's still just a one-possession ball game with North at the free throw line. It's not, you don't need to panic if you're the Muscatine offense. You don't need to come down and try to chuck up any threes. Just work your offense, see if you can get to the rim. Jacobs. Missed the first, he'll shoot the second here. Muskies with one timeout left. Jacobs free throw good, so North goes up four. North with four timeouts, and they do have the possession arrow. There's Diekman in the front court. He leads the Muskies with 17. Waker clear with 13. There's Alsis. Now they're swinging around Hufford. Hufford to Alsis. Now they feed Josh down low, Diekman to the rim, shot on away, no, Reed Olsis with the tip. It's a huge and tip in. follow, Reed Olsis off the bench with eight points tonight. Just under two minutes to go here. Proud father Tom staying at the end of the gym there. Eight points for Reed, 49-47. North by two, Wiseman to Wellman. He goes into the paint, back to Wiseman. Now it's Houston. To Jacobs, Jacobs goes baseline, shot it away, no rebound. Diekman, and here come the Muskies. Josh ahead for Hufford. To Diekman, Josh goes baseline to Claire. Now it's Briggs Miller. Briggs elbow jumper on the way, no rebound tipped. 
cleared by Jacobs and a foul on Houston. They're going to call a foul on Houston, and that was the right call. He grabbed his wrist, pulled him down, and so that'll put Josh to the line shooting a one and one. First foul on Jaden Houston, the seventh on North, and Diekman goes to the line for the Muskies, 71% on the year. Josh's free throw, no good, the rebound cleared by Wiseman. One ten and ticking this is going to be a layups only, and Coach Polite with a timeout. Full timeout, 107 to play. We're going to leave it right here. Muskies trail by two, 49-47. Game reset north with three timeouts. The Muskies won. Ten team fouls for the Muskies and seven for north. So the Muskies are shooting one and one north. Two shots rest of the way in the possession arrow is with Davenport North. Great ball game tonight, Joel. Yeah, and I think it, this has not gone how I thought it was going to go as far as uh, Muscatine handling this pressure. I, I anticipated it being a closer game, but I really thought it would be Muscatine controlling the tempo and, and maybe getting to the free throw line and controlling it that way. But they, they've beaten or they've played right with North at their own game. Like you said, 7-2 and two in the conference uh, for the Wildcats. I don't know that they were expecting uh, the counter punches that they've received from this Muskie oh. basketball team tonight. No question about Muskie's playing without their leading scorer, Noah Yan. And North beat the Muskies at North earlier this year, 69 to 40. So you got to give the Muskies a ton of credit coming in here tonight, competing their tails off. North Davenport is in North the ball. double bonus. So each foul will be a, a two-shot free throw opportunity. Brown will inbounds. Gets it to Wellman, and we restart the game. He's guarded by Hufford. Brown has it out high, bounces it for Wiseman. This is a set play out of the timeout, looking for a layup. And there's Hufford pushing out a little bit. At some point, the Muskie's going to have to start fouling. Diallo may be the guy to, they want to foul, but Josh has yeah, four. He, yeah, he can't be the one who fouls. Houston has it. Just 58% from the stripe. Houston bounces it to Diallo. Now they get it out to Brown. Brown's 76% foul shooter. Clock at 35. Wellman 79%. So these three guards shoot it well. And Wellman is fouled, and he's going to go to the line. Fouls on Briggs Miller. That's Briggs' fourth. So Sam Wellman, 79% of the year, goes to the stripe. He has seven points tonight, and he'll shoot two. A good adjustment from Polite to put Diallo, their worst free throw shooter on the floor, uh, in a position where Diekman with four fouls has to be the guy guarding him. Free throw good. And they've done a nice job. They kept it spread so he didn't dribble into right. a spot where he could get doubled. Very well coached, second, no good. Muskies can tie, but the rebound run down by Wiseman. Now they got a foul right away. Brown has it and Hufford commits a foul. That'll be the second on Braden. And now Alec Brown will go to the line. 76% on the season, two points tonight. Free throw good. And that's a big one. That makes it a two possession game. And the official warning, the Muskie student section, not sure what they were saying. Second free throw, good. He makes a pair, 52-47. Hufford now, Muskie's got to push it here. Clock at 20, now Ulsis. Cross court for Miller, now to Hufford. Hufford spins in the lane. Now it's back to Hufford. He's going to take a three right wing. No good rebound, cleared Wiseman, and a foul. I believe on Reed Alsis. And it's going to be on Waker Clare. That'll be the fourth on Waker. Waker Clare, 13 points, all of those in the second half. You had nine in the third quarter and really sparked the Muskies tonight. Wiseman at the stripe, Joel, 92% of the year. That's the guy you want to have at the line in this situation. And we talked about that in pregame. You know, when you shoot 67% as a team from the stripe in high school, that's pretty good. 
And Wiseman now, 92%. And boy, that's a good stroke. And he leads North with 17. Hufford in the front court, 54-47, deep three, no good. Tap around, and we got a ball game. The final, Davenport North 54, and the Muscatine Muskies 47. We're stepping away for two minutes. We'll be back with the Muscatine Power Water postgame show. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. Get into the manufacturing industry of your choice on your terms. We prepare you with hands-on training, flexible class schedules, and a network of employers after graduation. Now that's community. We are Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. All right, guys, we've got some great news. There's a rumor out there. There's a huge sales call coming in today. Good thing Jimmy's not here to steal my thunder again. A big sale? I wonder who it is. Huh. Did I pack a tuna sandwich this morning? Why wasn't I in the last commercial? All right. Everyone on the same page? You guys are not going to believe this. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. Hello, this is Jim. Can I help you? Yep, yep. Thank you for the business. The mission of our company is to serve our clients with the most efficient and courteous service available. People in our community, when they ask, who are we going to get for pest control, please call Bosch. Remember, insects are pests. Call the best. Bosch Pest Control. at Muscatine High School, Brian Musell, Joe Crossar. We saw a whale of a basketball game tonight. The Muskies fall to Davenport North 54-47. North jumped out to a 11-6 first quarter lead, stretched it to eight on two different occasions in the second quarter. The Muskies closed it down to five and trailed by five at half, 24-19. North blitzed the Muskies early in the third, got up by nine, 33-24, but the Muskies behind Waker Clare, who had nine points in the third quarter, charged back and cut it to 39-37 after three behind Clare and Diekman, who really did a ton of scoring for the Muskies. Muskies had this thing down to two on a couple of occasions, deep into the fourth, and North closed it out at the foul line, making some big free throws by Wiseman and Jacobs, and they hold on to win 54 54- 47 over the Muskies. Muskies led in scoring tonight by Josh Diekman with 17. Waker Clare, 13. Reed Ulses with eight. Other good performances off the bench for the Muskies. Uh, Trevor Diedrichs was outstanding tonight off the bench. It really gave him a big lift with Noah Yan unavailable to play tonight due to illness. North was led in scoring by Quincy, we- Quincy Wiseman with 17. Jaden Houston, their leading scorer, had 12. He had 11 at the half, only one in the second half. And Sam Wellman chipped in eight. And so North advances uh, on for the season. A big win for them as they improve. Hang on just a second here. To 11-4 and four in the year, 8-2 and two in the MAC. The Muskies fall to 3-13 and 3-9 and three and nine in the MAC. And, Joel, your offensive player of the game for the Muskies? Josh Diekman, who I, I think was the most impressive performance I've seen from him this season. Really attacked inside. Didn't rely on the side shot really exerted some dominance down low so Josh Diekman the offensive player of the game and the east, that was sponsored of course by Guadalajara the defensive player of the game sponsored by Eastern Iowa Community Colleges Trevor Diedrichs I was so yeah. impressed with him he created turnovers he did such a nice job especially in the first half and, and Muscatine's really in that game because of how he came off the bench and really deed up the ball handlers from Davenport North don't disagree with that at all Chicharro's play of the game uh, it's going to go to Waker Claire. There was a play in the second half here where it was transition bucket, wide open three, really nailed in the corner, made it a one possession game. Momentum started to tip into favor of the Muskies. Uh, unfortunately, they were unable to kind of ride that wave to a lead, but it was a, that was a great big momentum play for the Muskies. No doubt about it. No game Friday night for Joel on a broadcast. Muskie girls out of town 
Boys are off. The boys play at Fort Madison on Saturday, so you'll next hear us next Tuesday night here at Muscatine. So, Joel, final thoughts on this one? You know, this is one of the better outings I've seen for Muscatine all season long. Uh, that was a, a tremendous opponent that they were playing, and they, they were with them throughout that entire game. Just a great effort, and uh, that's the sort of performance that you may not uh, win the game, but you build off of a game like that, and there's a lot of positives to, to build off of from here. Agree wholeheartedly, playing tonight without their leading score, at playing a team that beat them by 29 earlier in the season with 11 wins already on the year, and the Muskies played them tooth and nail, down to the wire. And when you rebound the way that Muscatine rebounded tonight, you're going to have opportunities to win a lot of games. No doubt. They'll play hard. I think they're going to go get one Saturday at Fort Madison. Folks, thank you for watching, as always, for the great people at Discover Muscatine that make all this possible and our fantastic advertisers. I want to thank my partner, Joel Crossauer. I'm Brian Musell from Muscatine High School. The final score, North 54 and the Muskies 47. Thank you for watching Muskie Boys basketball on the Musty Musky Sports Network.